dear friends welcome to my grammar pages today we are going to learn how to write a newspaper report reports usually appear in the newspapers they talk or tell to the people about the events that have been happening in the local area or the nation or international coming to the types of the newspapers newspapers are of two types local newspaper which report the news about the happenings that have been happening around the uh, in the local community like about the accidents or the events sometimes it can be some of the incidents coming to national newspaper it reports the national issues like war business as well as some finance now let's throw some light on learning the newspaper report newspaper report consists of a format first of all we need to open a three sided box here comes the headline this headline gives the main idea of the whole news in which we are reporting here this headline coming to the rules to be followed this headline should be brief and catchy i am coming to the font sizes and the font style you can write in your own convenient style suppose if you want to put the whole thing in the bold letters that's up to you or else you can place the first letter of each word in capital letters and coming to the type of the sentences you can use it can be in the form of a declarative sentence i mean that's a true statement or else it can be in the form of a question and the main thing to be remembered is you can omit articles as well as prepositions wherever they are not required in writing the headline and you can use even abbreviations and the shortest forms i mean the shortened forms of the words even and coming to the word limit it has to be written in 8 to sorry 6 to 8 words not exceeding that one uh, we never come across uh, watching the headline in uh, two lines or three lines it will be very catchy very brief and when you look at the headline itself we can understand on what the news is going to be uh, reported on and this is number 1 and coming to the second part here comes the byline now what this byline is byline is the line which tells you about the writer or the reporter uh, by whom this news article has been given so for this you need to keep a small hyphen and write the word by followed by the first as well as the last name of the person after writing the byline byline consists of the name of the person as well as in the bracket you have to write either the staff reporter or the ground reporter this is point number 2 and now coming to point number 3 this is the place line so we have the three lines here one is a headline the other one is a byline as well as the place line here the place line includes the place comma and the date where the story begins and after this you need to keep a call and now we are directly plunging into the content this content consists of four paragraphs and the first paragraph starts here only not from here after writing the name of the place as well as the date and the date also should be in for example today is 29 october 29 october 2017 in this way you need to put the date not just 29 10 2017 2017 is not the correct way of writing the date so paragraph number 1 starts here now in paragraph number 1 what are the main things to be noted in paragraph number 1 take for example an incident or an accident 
if you take the case of an accident, you need to answer the first WH questions. What are those questions? You need to answer what the news is about, where did it happen, when did it happen, who are involved and to some extent you can add even why the reasons behind the occurrence of the accident or the incident or even the event uh, some celebrations even so these are the four questions we need to keep the keep in mind in order to write paragraph number one and this should be written in 25 to 40 words only not more than that this is the short i mean this is the shortest paragraph where you are going to include all the details but written in very uh, brief manner coming to paragraph number two in paragraph number two uh, i mean this is a leading paragraph and here paragraph number two supplies all the details it supplies all the details of the accident or the incident here anyhow we have mentioned what where when who to some extent even why coming to paragraph number two covering all these and you need to add even why detail as well as how the incident or the accident happened so here we are going to write in brief here we are going to write elaborately and among all the paragraphs the newspaper report this paragraph number two will be the longest paragraph where you need to mention the name of the people who have involved in the accident or the event and sometimes even you have to write the age of the persons in the brackets and you have to give the complete description of the event or the accident and coming to third paragraph this third paragraph is otherwise called a court paragraph a court paragraph court is nothing but the courts of the eyewitnesses uh, sometimes the eyewitnesses can be seen around the accident or the i mean in the surroundings of the accidents or the incidents if they are not available depending upon the news article you are producing it can be the uh, court of the doctor uh, to whom uh, he has been giving uh, uh, the treatment to the person or the victims or else you can take the courts of the police officer who has come there to investigate the case or else sometimes you can take even the courts or the words of the victim even so the this paragraph the first line of this paragraph will begin with a quote and coming to the last paragraph that is paragraph number four this is the concluding paragraph in this concluding paragraph in this particular paragraph you are going to highlight uh, the promises as well as the reactions of the authorities. So this is the last paragraph. See, here is a brief description. Here is the detailed description of the event or the accident. And here comes a court paragraph by I mean the, the words of the people who have seen the incident or the words of the people who had come there to investigate the case or uh, the words of the victim even sometimes and the last paragraph will be the concluding paragraph where it talks about the reactions taken I and mean, reactions of the authorities or the actions taken by the authorities and sometimes even promises what kind of promises can be given to the victims like uh, uh, sanctioning of the excoratia or sometimes the bodies will be taken to the hospital and they say that the, the case is under investigation so such kind of words can be written in paragraph number four so among all these four paragraphs this is the sh this is a small paragraph and here comes the longest paragraph and here just a quote if you can write two quotes that's up to you depending upon the word limit that has been given in the question paper and coming to paragraph number four paragraph number four is once again a small paragraph so as soon as these four paragraphs are completed here you will be writing the source source is nothing but the name of the newspaper in which you are going to report about. so here for example this is the source name of the newspaper so 
that's all till here and anyhow we have opened a three sided box now here we are going to close the box if you are unable to close in a single page uh, depending upon the news article in which you are writing if you are unable to close in a single page you can turn to the next page and you can write that one but the one and uh, only thing you need to remember is in the previous page you need to close the box once again when you are opening a fresh page once again you are supposed to open the fresh box and close it again there so this is the format of the newspaper report headline talks about the heading and here comes the byline keep a small hyphen writing the word by followed by the first and the last name of the person that is uh, completely the full name of the person and in the bracket you are going to write the staff reporter or the ground reporter next comes the place line talking about the place and the date where the story begins and coming to the content already we have discussed what are all the key points to be noted in writing the content then comes the source the name of the newspaper and you are going to close the box now next i am going to show a newspaper report and then I'll tell you what are all being included and what are the key points to be remembered by writing the newspaper. This is the news article that appeared in 2015 in the Indian Express. So for your reference, I have taken this newspaper report in order to see whether all the criteria we have discussed just now will be satisfied or not. So coming to the format which we have learned till now, this is the heading. I mean to say it is the headline I have taken in one two three four five six words and I've taken all letters in bold see two teenagers killed after bikes kids this is about an accident and the next thing is the byline this byline see here comes a small hyphen followed by the word by and then followed by the name of the staff reporter this name of the staff reporter i have taken in full uh, just now we have learned that is the first name and the last name vijay is the first name of the person and pant is the last name of the person we are going to take the full name of the staff reporter and coming to the third point here comes the place line this place line as discussed earlier this is the name of the place and here comes the date earlier we t uh, i told you uh, that the date has to be written uh, as 4th june 2015 in this way also you can uh, proceed on that is june 4th 2015 now here comes the content this content as discussed it's divided into four paragraphs here this is the paragraph number one see this is very small and we have co covered all the WH questions like what, who, when, and where. Just have a look here. Two minors were killed and another injured after the motorbike. They were riding skidded on the road which was wet due to rains on Tuesday evening. Here we have covered the question who. Two minors were killed and another injured after the motorbike. They were riding, skidded on the road. So what is this about is also covered. This is about an accident where the bike was skidded and few of the people, I mean the few minors were injured. And comes when? Here Tuesday evening. Tuesday evening answers the question when. Okay. So skidded on the road gives you the answer for where. Okay, in detail, when you go into detail, this where will be elaborated. And now coming to the paragraph number two. This paragraph number two supplies all the details of paragraph number one. Have a look here. The incident, whatever the discussed incident, occurred late on Tuesday when the minors are you Khan and Salim as well as Imran. Here we have mentioned only two minors. I mean, uh, we spoke about only minors. So here those minors' names along with their age have been highlighted in the brackets. Were returning to their homes in East Delhi from the graveyard at ITO after offering prayers on the night of Shab e Bharat. As they were crossing Gita Colony flyover near Vikas Mark, the motorcycle suddenly slipped on the road 
which was wet due to the evening rains. Passersby made a call to the police control room and informed about the incident. So here we have discussed what, who, what had happened, who were involved in that one, when did it happen and where did it happen. And apart from all those, why did it happen also has been mentioned. Their bike got skidded because of uh, the slippery uh, nature of the road because of the evening rains and how did it happen even has been covered so this is a detailed paragraph answering all the questions suppose if the information is more to you uh, whatever the information you want to put is uh, of more quantity you can divide this second paragraph into one plus one that means one more paragraph can be written instead of sticking yourself four paragraphs you can move on to the further paragraphs increasing the paragraph numbers that means for the second paragraph and coming to the third paragraph. This third paragraph, as discussed earlier, this is called the court paragraph. And I have already mentioned this court paragraph should begin with a court as a first sentence. I started with the quotation marks. Look at the words. I mean, uh, let us see whose words are these. The victims were rushed to LMJB hospital where two of them were declared broad dead. The third minor suffered fractures in his left leg and is still in hospital, said the police officer. So we are taking the words of the police officer. It doesn't mean that you need to take only the words of the eyewitnesses over there. If they are not present, you can take the quotes of any person present over there. So this is paragraph number three. And here I have taken paragraph number three only as a court paragraph. Just only with a quote, I have ended the paragraph. It's up to you. If you want to prolong the paragraph, you can prolong. But the first line should begin with a quote. Now coming to the last paragraph. This last paragraph, as discussed, this is the paragraph which talks about the promises and actions taken by the authorities. Now look at the paragraph given here. The autopsy was conducted, so this is the action taken by the people, was conducted on Wednesday. The accident had taken place on Tuesday and autopsy was conducted on Wednesday. And the bodies were handed over to the families for the last rides. A case was registered and it has been transferred to motor accidental claim tribunal cell of East District. These are the actions taken by the people but there are no promises it doesn't mean that it is compulsory that you have to write the promises so you need to cover those if there is no promise given by the authorities just you can omit and you can write just only the actions sometimes actions will not be taken just they will mention only the promises given by the authorities that is also okay so soon after the completion of all the four paragraphs which form the content of the newspaper report you need to write the source here as this is an article from the Indian Express uh, this is an original article for you and source I have taken us here at the bottom of the page bottom of the box and please do not forget to close the box and this box has to be highlighted I mean in a thick outline black thick outline box now what's the delay I think you might have understood what I have explained and uh, just go out India and our locality is full of news. It can be in the form of an incident or an accident or an event or a celebration. Go out, have a quick view, come back home, take a pen, open your page, start sketching yourself. So definitely there is a newspaper reporter hiding inside you. Please bring him out or bring her out and show your creativity to the world. Thank you for watching my class and very soon I'm going to come back to you with a new lesson. Till then, bye-bye.